We're moving now into the geometry section of the SAT Math Bootcamp. And in this video, we're just going to cover some of the basics of geometry. So basic definitions, terms, symbols, things like that. Let's start by drawing, or attempting to draw in my, in my case, a pair of coordinate axes. Okay, so pair of axes, perpendicular, meet at right angles. Uh, this is the x-axis, this is the y. Moving to the right on this is to the positive direction, the left side is the negative, up is positive, down is negative. This right here is known as the origin, and it's the point zero, zero. And you can imagine we could have lines drawn through this, so this would be line L, this would be line M, and so on. So this is the basics of the coordinate axes for coordinate geometry. And we can imagine these are going to be ticked just like the number lines we saw in the number lines video. And they usually, they're they going to have a scale and you can find the points on the scale based on, you know, okay, if I'm looking at 2, 1, I count 2 to the right and 1 up, and that would be the point 2, 1. And we'll see examples of this kind of thing in later videos. So that's the basics of coordinate axes. How about some symbols for geometry itself? So if you see something like this, AB with a, a double arrowed line on it, this is line AB. I mean, this would look something like this. So we got this line. All right, here would be an example of what it might, might look like. Notice a line is defined by these two points A and B. How about this? AB with just one headed arrow. This would be ray AB. So a ray has a terminating point, but then it goes forever in one direction. And again, we could call this points A and B, and that would define the ray. How about AB with a regular line? Well, this is segment AB. And this is just two terminating points, A and B, that define that segment. If you see AB with no symbol, this is referring to the length of something. So of a segment, for instance, the length of a particular, you know, the distance between the two points, AB. Whether those points are in a line or segment or what have you. If you see this symbol, that's an angle. So this would be angle ABC. We could also write this as angle CBA and occasionally as angle B, but it depends on the picture. So if I'm looking at this picture right here, ABC, I can call this ABC, I can call this CBA, I can also call it angle B. But as soon as I add in another line right here, it becomes very unclear what angle B would refer to. So I would have to make it clear, okay, DBA or ABD or ABC and so on. If you see an M next to the angle, that stands for measure. So measure of angle ABC is the measure or the number of degrees. So you could say the measure of this guy is equal to 60 degrees or something like that. Some other symbols that might come up include the triangle. Obviously that means a triangle. You might see some letters in front of it. So triangle ABC would be, you know, a triangle ABC with three points on it. You also could see a quadrilateral looking symbol, though I don't think you'll see it too often on the SAT. And this of course is a quadrilateral. And it could be a square, it could be a rectangle, it could be a trapezoid. They'd have to give you more information for you to determine that. If you see these lines, it means parallel. So the lines I drew all the way up here are sort of, should be at least parallel to each other. So they never intersect. Whereas this symbol means perpendicular and that means forms right angles. So if I have a line going this way and a line going this way and it forms a right angle, then that's perpendicular. And we'll talk more about angles uh, in the next video.